Before you look for resources via the online library, you first need to sign in to StudyNet with your university username and password. Once you've logged in to StudyNet, navigate to the online library area. You'll see the library search box at the top. This is where you search for books, journal articles and databases. If you scroll down to the bottom of the online library area, you'll come to the subject toolkits, which is where you can find specialist resources for the subject that you're studying. For example, if an academic has recommended a particular database for you to use, for example PubMed, if you're a health student, then you would go to the health toolkit you'll see the link to specialist databases and you can choose PubMed from the list of resources there. There is another way to look for this resource as well. So if you go back to the online library, you can type PubMed into the library search box and as well as books and journals, articles it will also search for databases and here's the link to the PubMed database at the top. The third way of finding the resource is by going back to the online library page and clicking on the A to Z list of search sources link underneath the library search box. This is a nice alphabetical list of everything that the library subscribes to and if you scroll down you'll be able to see PubMed here on the list. Also within this list we have a link to Google Scholar which is a free resource but if you access Google Scholar through library search you'll gain access to a lot more full text material. For example if I type in the phrase climate change it will recognise you as a University of Hertfordshire student because you're logged in through StudyNet and will give you access to some of these articles if we hold them in our collections too. Click on the link and you'll be able to access it as you would do through um, library search.